In this short video, I'm going to show you how to automate the process of downloading and processing daily stream flow data from United States Geological Survey website. Um, the manual process for doing this will take a lot of time, specifically if you want to download it for multiple stations. But the manual process is basically when you are in this website, USGS Water Data for the Nation, you will click on the map and then you will find the station or the site that you are interested in. Let's say that you are interested in a specific site in Twin Cities area, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Let's say that you are interested in this website. When you click on it, then you can click on access data and then download daily stream flow data in cubic feet per second. Um, so we are going to, I'm going to first of all copy this site number to have it. We are going to automate this process using Python. The way that we are going to do that is by using the URL that is generated specifically for the data. So we'll provide Python with site number, start date, and end date that we have in mind. And after that, Python will go to that URL that is generated, download the data, and then visualize the data. Okay, we are going to go through this process by writing um, some lines of codes in Python and using basic libraries that are available. I'm going to use Google Colab to write the piece of code. You can use Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Lab, or whatever code editor that you want to. So again, uh, the purpose is to download and visualize daily stream flow data from USGS using Python. We want to automate the process. Step number one is to import the required packages. The packages that I have used over here, as you can see, these are normal packages. I'm not using any specific package. Okay, step number two is accessing and then downloading USGS daily stream flow data. Okay, to do that, the first thing that I need to do is to enter some required information. What are those required information? So let's say that um, you want to automate the process by telling Python which station you're looking for, right? So um, I define a variable called station number, and that's the number that I copied from USGS website and put that as an input. The other um, variable that you want to define, the other information that is you want to define is the start date. What is the start date that you're looking for? And eventually, what is the end date that uh, you are uh, looking for? So. I define all of those as inputs, user inputs, that you are going to um, give to Python. And eventually, I'm going to create a folder in the current um, working directory that I am working on. Okay, so I'm going to run this cell. It's going to ask me what is the um, station number. So I copied the station number. This is the station number for um, Mississippi River Station at St. Paul. What is the start date? I'm going to just randomly select the start date. 2003 would be the year. May is the month, and then day number one of May. And then eventually for end date, I'm going to select the end date to be in 2022. All right, so that's the process of entering the required information. Next, we need to create that URL. So that URL will tell Python to go there and download the data. The URL that I'm going to create has four sections. And in between those sections, I'm going to input my station ID, start date, and end date. So only these three are the unique features of the URL. Everything else is going to be the same. I should tell you this information that the URL that I'm putting in this document is for daily stream flow data. So if you are interested in peak flow data, this URL is not going to work with that. Another thing that I forgot to tell you is that this notebook is available in the comment section of uh, this video. Let's download, let's actually write down the different sections of the URL. So section one, as you can see, it's just the US, USGS website and section two is the other part of the url it is constant just to make it a little bit more um, readable let's do this let's actually start that in a new line and similarly over here all right so that's better and then section three and section four once you have these sections i'm going to insert 
um, the information that is going to be variable, specifically site number, start date, and end date into this URL using um, these two lines. So I have created a link, section one, which is this line, plus the station number, plus section two, plus start date, plus section three, end date, and section four. All right, and then the last line is printing the URL to see um, the data that we are interested in. All right, so I'm gonna run this cell. It has created this link for me. If I click on this link, it um, directs me to the data. So um, this is the information related to the data. You can see that um, the site is correct. And also uh, this table over here gives me date and stream flow, daily stream flow in cubic feet per second. So this is the correct data that I want to. And you, you can see that the start date is correct. And let's take a look at the end date. The end date is also correct. Now that we have created the URL, we are ready to download the data. So I'm going to tell Python that to use that link, go to the link and download the data. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to use the URL library over here and tell this library to go and open that link that I have created right over here and then download the data and read the data. If I want to show you what is the type of the downloaded the data, this, let's run this. The type of downloaded data is in bytes, right? We want to convert this into string. String is basically the plain text that we want to, right? So let's see, in order to convert uh, the downloaded data from bytes to string, I'm gonna use this method of a uh, decode, right? And then I have written type of this to show you that the type has been changed from bytes to string, right? But now let's actually, I'm gonna show you what the data will look like. So if I um, essentially, um, and then print that. You can see that this is exactly what we saw, but everything is back to back, right? So I need to split this to have different lines of data. You can see that there is this backslash n over here. That means that it goes to the next line, right? I can use this to split data and have a formatted string data. In order to do that, I need to split this data. Okay, and to split the data, I'm gonna write this code and write the method of split based on backslash n to based on basically these new line values over here. All right. Um, and I'm going to print the new string that I have created over here to show you how it looks like. Okay. Print that. All right. As you can see over here, and let me go all the way up. Now every, um, line is printed on a separate line. So I split it that text, which was like this. All right, so I'm gonna make this a comment. I don't need to have this. Perfect. Now I would like to find the name of the station and double check the name, double check the name of the station. So in order to do that, first I create an empty string and I call it station name. And then I do a for loop over here and I ask Python to go through each line of this formatted string data that I have. And whenever it starts with um, this term, it means that after that, there should be my site number and site name. Take a look at this. We have this over here. After this, we have site number and site name that is not printed over here, right? Now let's run this piece of code and take a look at it. Okay, so this is telling me that my site number is this one and the site name is Mississippi River at St. Paul. Okay, I can use this station name variable later when I'm plotting the data. The next thing that I wanna do is to get rid of the excess data and just have date and stream flow in cubic feet per second. So in order to do that, again, I'm going to create another string and I'm going to call it date and flow. So 
the first column of this string is going to be date, and then there's going to be a comma, and the second column is going to be flow. This is an empty string. Again, I have defined a for loop. Python goes through every line of the code and then finds the um, lines that start with USGS. Why do I do that? Actually, let me show you over here. So I'm going to remove this comment and print this. You can see that from here, let me go up, scrolling up. All these uh, lines are comment lines. We don't need those. The lines that we are interested, they all start with USGS. These are the lines that have date and they have flow rate. Okay. So I'm telling Python that if a line starts with USGS, take that information. Let's go back to our piece of code over here. Okay. If the line starts with USGS, read the data starting from character 14 all the way to the end of it. These are the characters that I care about, right? And then join the data, join the two column, join the two columns, date and um, flow rate, and put a comma in between them. And then this date underscore flow is going to be the new text file, new CSV file that I'm going to generate. This line is converting the date flow from string to bytes class, right? And eventually the last line will create a TXT file and writes the data that I have saved in date flow, okay? So if I run this, now this file is right now saved. Now the only thing that I want to do is to read this TXT file, put it into a pandas data frame. I'm going to write this piece of code. First of all, I'll, I have defined a file name. The columns for that, remember that the first column is supposed to be date and the second column is going to be discharge. I have read this file into a pandas data frame and then set the index to be the date, the first column. And then this line is just to make sure that if there are any non-numeric characters in the discharge, because sometimes because of equipment fail, there are some non-numeric um, data available over there. So this line will convert that non-numeric data to numeric, and then eventually the last line will show the head of the data. Okay, so if I um, run this, you'll see that right now I have two columns. Column one is the index and its date, and column two is the discharge. Let's take a look at the end of that file as well. It goes all the way to 2022, May 12th. Perfect. Now that we have this data frame, the last step is to plot the data that we have. And in order to plot the data, I'm going to use um, pandas plot function. The size is up to you depending on what you want to. The title, remember that we um, extracted the station name right over here. Um, where was it? Over here. So we defined the station name and we print it over here. I'm going to use as the title of my graph, X label is time in year and Y label is discharge. Let's run this cell and there we go. This is the hydrograph for Mississippi River at St. Paul. Now you have a piece of code that can automatically retrieve daily stream flow data for you for the specific date. Now let's test this piece of code for another station. Um, uh, over here, if I run this cell again, instead of the Mississippi River station, I'm going to write another station. So this is the station number that I know for Minnehaha Creek in Minneapolis, right? And then I'm gonna um, press enter. The start date this time, instead of 2003, I'm gonna say 2015, month would be May and day 01. Um, and the end date, let's choose the same end date, 2022, month of May and day would be 12. All right, uh, the rest is the same thing. So I'm gonna go one by one and run these cells. So you can see that this is the link that is generated um reading the data 
bits and bytes and then printing the data over here splitting it notice that the station name and station number has changed to Minnehaha Creek um, in Minneapolis and then I'm going to create that text file and then create my discharge in a data frame and eventually I'm going to create a hydrograph. This is the new hydrograph for Minnehaha Creek in Minneapolis. Um, you can see that there are some period of data that is missing. So if there is a period that is missing, it's not going to show up. All right. So in this short tutorial, I showed you how to automate a download and visualizing daily streamflow data from USGS using Python. Let me know in the comment section what other uh, Python water resources engineering tutorials you are interested in, and I will create that for you.